What's good YouTube? My name is Flex. I'm a videographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. I also do color grade my videos in DaVinci Resolve and today I'm going to show you how I grade my videos in DaVinci Resolve. I'm not a pro colorist. I'm just out here doing my thing and hopefully you can learn one or two things from me um, but before we go into DaVinci Resolve I want to make some things clear that color grading actually doesn't start from your software or your app or Resolve or whatever software you use color grading actually starts from the idea and most times before I shoot a video I actually know what type of look I'm going for I actually know what grade I'm going for so when I'm setting up my light I'm trying to achieve that look even on set before I grade if things are not done properly it's going to be very difficult to get a good grade out of your footage now with that being said let's go to resolve so we're in resolve and um, I already have my footage here and I'll just drag my footage to my timeline and then head over to the color tab which is here so let me just close this I'm going to create four nodes because it's actually going to be a very very simple grid so I'll just create one two three and we're using this node as our convection node from s log to rec 719 so just convection i'm going to use kodak loads here it's actually free it's in the free version of resolve because i use a free version of resolve too so i'll just label these as lots I don't know if I spelled that right, but and here will be my correction, like my color correction. Just say correction, and I'll just make a few adjustments here. So first, first of all, what you want to do is to convert your log footage to X seven one nine. So I'll go to my effects, search for color space transform. Then drag my color space transform. My input color space was X gamma theory scene, and my input gamma was X log theory, and my output space was rec 719, and my output gamma should be gamma 2.4, and that's how you convert from S log to rec 709 but now i'm going to approach it very very different because i'm using a kodak lot and for me to use the lot if i use the lot this footage is going to look terrible let me show you an example so i'll go over to my lot and go to my film looks and come down and you see the kodak lot now i'm going to apply and see how our footage look you see how terrible that looks so we're going to change one setting to make it look better so head over to our convection node, head over to our convection node, then instead of gamma 2.4, we'll use Sinion film log, Sinion film log. Then our footage is going to look flat, but don't worry, let's apply our lots now. And I think I'll apply this. I think this is quite better. I think this is okay. so this is before and after before and after already getting that good grade now we'll head over to our first node and do some basic correction so we'll come to our color wheel which is here and oh sorry and i'll just lift my gamma up a bit lift my gamma up a bit then reduce my highlight. Then bring up the shadow. And maybe like dial in some contrast. Uh, see before, after, before, and after. Let's try to like push the gain and bring down the gamma a bit. Then let's increase our color boost just to add that poppy vibe to it 
yeah i think i'm liking the grid but then um it's actually a simple grid so i'm not doing too much i'll head over to our second node and i think i'll create another extra node then yeah i'll be working on the skin so i'll head over to our qualifier and select the skin and i'll just tap this button to see what i've selected and as you can see uh we are having too many things we don't want so i'll just try to like bring this close this down a bit and like push okay and push this and push this till we get that nice skin so i'll just increase my pre filter and a little bit of the blur radius increase the blur radius so now i can work on my skin so i think the skin is too dark so i'll head over to my curves and try to raise this up a bit and i want my skin to be soft so i'll bring down the mid mid details yeah it's around here so i'll bring the mid details down a bit something really really subtle then i'll just try and dial in the color i'll try and reduce my saturation here and try to dial in the color i want for my skin so i'll just go a little bit or a little bit yellow yeah i want that poppy skin no 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 i like this yellow uh too yellow okay so this is before after before after before after i think this is actually like a good frame to start right here so what i'm doing here is okay let me delete this node actually so i'm going to create a node but i'm creating an outside node what an outside node does is it inverts the selection for example on this node i'm working on the skin if i create an outside node yeah it's going to select all the areas except the skin i don't know if you get me so here we'll create an outside node so see what we selected everything apart from the skin so yeah i'm going to like bring my yellows down um i'll just come to my u versus u u versus sat let's see our yellows and oh it's going to affect the pillow and we don't want that i'll just bring it down a bit i'll just bring it down a bit then my green i think i'll just bring the green down so i think i'll just add blue to like the background to like complement the skin color let's see how it goes and i'll just come to my gain and like bring blue 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 not too much uh not too much not too much so basically this is our grid i'm not doing too much i just want to make it very very simple and you can do a lot with this simple step so let me walk you through what we did first we did our conversion from s log to rec 709 then we converted it to senior theme log and then we added our kodak log which is actually free in Resolve. It's actually in your Resolve. We added our Kodak loads. And then we did some basic correction, increasing the saturation, that's the color balls, and lifting our gammas and adding contrast. Then we worked on the skin, which is this node. And after then we worked, we worked on the background, which is with our outside node. So this is actually a very simple grid. It's just to get you started and resolve. You can do things with these simple steps. So just let me know if you want a more in-depth grid. And if you want to know how to come back from S-Log to Rec, from S-Log to Rec 7, I uploaded the video on my channel. You can check out my channel. Please, please subscribe to my channel. And I love you. Jesus loves you. And thank you. God bless you.